Another quick tip for you. If you go into your Omniverse launcher and go under apps, you can see that you have the possibility to install a special Blender Alpha USD branch. So you have the possibility to use the specific USD format which utilizes Omniverse in order to import and then export your assets in Blender. So you can install in inside the uh, Omniverse launcher and launch the program like normally. And in there you have now another cool addition. If you go into your add-ons tab and activate the testing section, you have now the possibility to integrate stable diffusion, stable diffusion into your Blender workflow. So you can go in and render your scene like normal and in one step it goes in and transfers the rendered image into your stable diffusion either locally or online and it renders fully automatically after that so you can use it in order to yeah render entire animations with your stable diffusion installation as you can see here you have different options like choosing a local installation of automatic 1111 or you can go in and use an online solution that's up to you and if you activated that you have now a new option here where here it is ai render so if you click on this we have now different options like aspect ratio prompting negative prompting and different even different styles you want to apply and yes the other different options you get in automatic 11 11 if you go in and create image to image processes so yeah even animation is inside this you can choose a path and use animated prompts in order to create long videos and yeah combine it with the possibilities of stable diffusion and blender and the animation possibilities are really grand so it's really easy now to yeah combine the two processes without either rendering an image and then importing it separately into stable diffusion it's a lot easier this way thank you very much